Hey guys, Anime Knight here. Hope all you are doing good. Um, lots happening right now. Uh, I know this one's a bit late, but it's a okay because um, I wanted to talk about this. Warner Brothers killed a Looney Tunes movie in 2022, but it's been saved by someone else and is coming to theaters soon. The Day the Earth Blew Up is the first Looney Tunes movie headed for a theatrical release since Space Jam A New Legacy. Could that be any good news for Coyote vs. Acme? Now, if you've been following my channel for however long you have been, you know as well as I do, and it's very obvious everybody got very pissed off with um, Warner Brothers Discovery, who has been notorious for... Um, doing, putting movies on tax write-offs or just flat-out canceling the whole thing and just shelving it for no reason. Well, apparently there's a studio that, that does give a damn and is like, hey, let's do this. This week, Ketchup Entertainment acquired the distribution rights to Looney Tunes the day the Earth blew up. Per deadline, there is no release date as of yet, but this is undeniably good news for upon its screening at the 2024 NFC International Animated Film Festival, which happened months back. Um, the day the Earth blew up was called Hilarious, Heartfelt, and Truly a Gem. But even if the film wasn't so lauded, its upcoming theatrical run is a triumphant for fans of the new Looney Tunes or just animation in general. Like so many of the other cancelled projects, there was an outcry from angry fans that both Looney Tunes movies would be released, along with accusations that Warner Brothers was purposely withholding projects so that creators would not get paid in residuals. But now, with the day the, the Earth Blew finally resurrected and on its way to theaters, those angry fans, myself included, have to wonder, could the same happen for Kai vs. Acme? The answer, like most everything else in Hollywood, will ultimately come down to money. If the day the Earth Blew Up does well at the box office, then Warner Bros. would find itself with a reason to release its hold on Kylie vs. Acme, and its likelihood of coming to theaters shoots up drastically. I'll certainly be there watching Porky and Daffy kick alien ass on opening day, but until that time. So, with that being said, we need to go out and give... Um, the Day the Earth Blew Up, a great watch. Make it just, just as successful as the Super Mario Bros. movie. We want to see Coyote vs. Acme because Will Forte said it best. And he's he's just as angry as everybody else because it's like it's like, hey, uh, we don't we don't want to do it. We're just gonna put it as a tax write-off. This is notorious. And it's the same thing with the with the Monkey Man when uh, Netflix dropped that one, and then another studio picked that one up, and an, and another individual um, made it very very successful. The reason being is that Netflix was so afraid of offending the India uh, government with its portrayal of the character as being a right wing. Uh, nut job from my understanding the people were like no we're going to tell a way better story and lo and behold they did my hat is off to them for making uh, the monkey man well received so with this being said what do you guys think personally I really hope that the day the earth blew up will be a financial success and also a kick in the teeth to uh, Warner Bros. Because we we demand to see Wild Coyote vs. Acme. And I hope that film gets released. I'm going to go see this movie myself. I'm going to go out there and and support the, the uh, and support Ketchup Entertainment. 
and make sure the, that we all make sure that the film gets its fi financial success. I'm in Night Nights 92. I hope to see you all soon. And uh, let me know your comments down below. Bye, guys.